episode 51 hotting up now only five games left in this season for us to hang on to that seventh place we're five points clear of Tottenham and Arsenal at the moment Everton are really up there they're in third place I think this is going to be a really tough away trip to Goodison and then a home game against bottom of the table Watford that we must win um, so let's see who we can put out in this game against Everton I think Fofana might be suspended and he is which is not good news Nordved will have to come in midfield maybe or Anderson um, Nordved will come back in alongside Lipton and it will be Bickle back in there Anderson will have to play that's what we're going to go in with anyway 95 against 97 and can we contain Romelu Lukaku as long as we beat Watford this a point would be a good point here We've just been to the Emirates and got a point I'd take a point at Goodison Park and then beat Watford four points in this episode would put us in a fantastic position with only three games left to nail on that Europa League place that we dream of now I think I'll be really disappointed if we don't get it now after being here for so long. Of course, there may well be another position if what happens in the cup. We missed Asamo in the last game. He's back today. Bruno Perez starting to play really nicely. Got it again somehow or another. Bruno Perez! Oh, what a chance. Went all the way. A little elf. Elf ears. Don't know if there's a touch on that. Oh, he's just powered it over with his left. He went a long, long way with the ball. James McCarthy was tracking him, but he went and went and went, and he was still going. No, just powered it over. Too much revolutions on it from Bruno. Coleman in behind. The light from Bickle. Giving it away a bit too much here though. But Perez again. Oh, there's another great run from Bruno Perez. Lighting up Goodison at the moment. Another free kick, surely. Card for Coleman. Brilliant from Carrasco. Oh, and Tyvee. Just off anyway. Very much on the break. We're going to have to play today. Everton controlling the ball. We are not getting hardly any of it. We've just got to sit back, soak it up, and try and hit them on counter attacks like that. 36 gone here. Nothing really to show from the first half. Of the post. Everton coming close again. Perez will clear it. He'll stretch his legs. Yeah, look for... Oh, he wanted it across more. Not being able to keep hold of the ball at all in this half. Everton just commanding it. It's a bit like the Man City game. Well in, Nordved. Half time. We're taking nil nil at the end of this, I tell you. Real tough examination again. A nil nil is well worth it if we can go and give it to Watford in the last game of this episode. That's what we got to think about. Get a nil nil here. And then really give it to Watford in the second half. Not happening for a boo backer up top. He is going to come off. Get it out. Good save. No one making the run though on the counter. Good 
Getting more and more like Everton are going to get a winner here. Half an hour to go. Brilliant from Tyree. Good from Torore. Throwing in the corner. That's a much better counter. Azamoa again. Lovely boy in. Loopy doopy though. A bit too loopy I think. Oh, Carrasco trying to drive right through the heart. Good few moments there for the Spartans. So we're going to make a few changes. A little bit defensive, but a point is a fantastic result. Don't forget if we can get one in this game. That's what we've got to think. If we can get this point and then beat Watford. Salmond on, Rudiger on, pushing. Perez further fit forward. He's probably been our best player today, I would say. Nowhere through there. Everton have been very good. It's not really posed a massive threat. That's why there's not been tons and tons of highlights. Brilliant challenge in there from Lipton. Needed to be. Fantastic as they bring on a couple new players. Don't recognise either of them. Goal kick though. Rudiger offering himself. Salmon in space. Bruno Perez. Great ball. Oh, Tyvee's tested the keeper with a real stinger. Oh, too much on it. Salmon not very good at crossing the ball. What a chance. That was a one. Last minute we said, give us one chance with Tyvee and he had it. One of the best of angles. Had to win it in there. Left someone dumped on the running track. Well, he was on a running track. Miraculously, he's come on the pitch. Got up and walked on the pitch. Now, flopped down again, obviously. He was on the running track. Right over there on the track he was. There you are, you can see. And then he's come on and appeared on the track. On the pitch. And we don't know what we're looking at there. Whistle should go any minute. There it is. We've got the point. It was a real Dogs of War performance. From the Spartans at Everton, we ground out a real dirty nil-nil. Not many highlights, but it's exactly what the doctor ordered if we can win at Watford. It's put pressure on the Watford game, I must admit. But Callard gets them out of the match. Other results, we're looking at Arsenal and Tottenham, the North London rivals. Arsenal drawn with Queen's Park Rangers. Tottenham have lost. West Ham have lost. It's good news. It's a point gained over... Tottenham, now go and beat Watford. Go and beat Watford, boys. And you will be like pigs and shit. You really will. Fofana back for this one. Don't let them off the hook. A lot of pressure on this game, but they must win it. They've got to go and win this. There, that one that the scout looked at. Umninti told us to go and look at, and it's broken down. That's how ridiculous the scout is on this game. Bizarre again. Bizarre. Oh, Razor Bizarre. He's not been the most named. He's not been on a real best the last probably six or seven games. But just demonstrating that he's still a vital cog in the wheel. That's a decent effort from Razor Bizarre. Brings a save early on out of Gomez and lifts the crowd. It's the important thing. It gives the crowd a bit of a lift. Perez is free. Bruno Perez. 
Oh. Spartans swarming all over and totally different field of the games we've had recently. And we've not been able to keep the ball. Perez again. Watford sitting very deep. Oh! The end, he walked right in there and what a save. How does he save that? There's no space in behind them today. You can see that the way they're playing. They're playing so deep. Good play from Carrasco. So congested and I don't quite know where the goal's going to come from. That's a free kick on a boo backer, driving through. Need to get a goal and open the game up. Very congested. Watford sat right back on top of their goalkeeper, making it extremely difficult, to say the least. Bruno Perez. Carrasco, oh, another good save from the keeper. Corner kick, Perez is the out ball. Perez, yes, Bruno Perez has put us in the lead and that is a massive goal, one of the biggest of the season. And Bruno Perez on his wrong foot, drives it into the top corner, gets thrown to the ground in delight, and he has proved to be a decent signing after all. He's come good in the second half of this season. Had a couple real dog games. Now he's settled. Carrasco using it. Went down the line, one on, come back inside. Weaker left foot, don't forget. Great hit though, right in the top noggins. And it's in and it's a really good goal. And Watford have got to come out a little bit now. Hopefully that might open up a little bit of space in behind. The boo back is in. And it's two. And there it is. The first goal so important in this game. And a lovely slot of my boo backer. The space was created in behind just because we got the opening goal. Meant Watford couldn't sit so deep. And they they haven't sat deep. And the boys. Precious goal. Look at the space in behind now. What a ball from Tyvee. Lot to do, but a boot backer had time to think about it, and he took it so calm. Little side foot slot, beautiful finish from Vincent a boot backer. Two goal advantage and space in behind this Watford back four for Tyvee and a boot backer to exploit. Could be bad news for the Hornets. Two goals in five minutes. The boo boo's in. Driven across. Azamoa going to try one. Half time. Great first half for the Spartans. All they could have dreamt for. The breakthrough and then the second. 
Just finish the job off here in the second half, boys. You've been fantastic. Good save, Callard. That was nearly the goal back from Troy Deeney. Went to sleep. Too much acid from the half-time oranges for the Spartans or something. Giving them shit in their eyes. Come on, boys. Off the line. Fofana can drive the ship forward here, though. Bazaar, Perez, Terore. Jinky from Terore. Oh, what a save. Brilliant from Bertie Terore. So skillful on the ball. Got this. This was close. This had Bend on it, on his left. Going to find the far corner. Good save. Spartans would love a third. Tyvee's pace will surely get him behind. As a mower there for support. Oh! Have it not dropped in the box? Every time Spartans come forward, they look dangerous here at the moment. Bickle! Oh, another great save from Gomez. Spartans really flowing now. A win's a win. And 2 0 would suit us fine, I'll tell you. Today was all about getting the points. Played Lipton. As a mower, the out ball. Tyvee with space. Tyvee! Oh, what a goal! Fantastic from Tyvee. Off the post and in. Glorious finish. That is one for the scrapbook. If that's the goal that takes us to European football for the spot, and then so be it. It couldn't have been much better. Amazing strike from Tyvee. It had to be that good to beat Gomez today, to be honest, because he has been good. But when Tyvee picks it up here and runs at you, you know you're in trouble. You know something's going to come on the end of it. Look at this. What a strike from Tyvee. 3 now. And three points are staying at Spartan Park. Which is what we demanded. We demanded four from this episode and we're going to get them. Every chance of Europa League in season three now. Oh, they've got one back though. Real scrappy. All the goals we can see seem to be scrappy. And that's another one. We're not even going to look at it. Still time for them here. Not now. Terore can finish it and he can. What a goal from Bertie Terore. Post again. Lovely one too of Abu Bakr and Terore. Seems to score every time he gets time on the pitch. And as soon as Watford thought they had a jink of hope, the Spartans have trod on them like a beetle. They really have. They scrubbed them into the pavement. Look at this. Lovely one too from Terore. Channel ball from Mabu Baka. Still had a lot to do. But what a finish. Nine minutes left. Spartans sealed the points now. Tyvee's in behind there. There could be more. Oh. 
Should have been early. Tyvee doesn't usually miss on those chances. Whistle will blow any minute. Spartans with a very comfortable win. There it is. 4-1. Four, four points from an episode that we needed the four. Real gutsy 0-0 at Everton. And then a fantastic home demolishment of Watford. Exactly what we needed. Exactly what we got. 13 shots, 10 on target. Really did stuff them. Tyvee with a pick of the bunch. But a decent goal also from Bertie Torore. Well, Perez's goal was decent as well. Arsenal stuffed Man City, so it was a good job we did win. That's a surprise one. Why Tottenham? Tottenham's won as well. They've cut the pressure up. But that is the nuts and bolts of it now. There is five points. We've got a better goal difference, so you can say six. Six points. We just need to win one of our last three games to confirm seventh and Europa League football. That would be fantastic if we can do that. We need to win one of the last three games, and that is Southampton, West Ham, and Newcastle. Just need three more points, I think. We'll do it. Or maybe four. Four to be sure. Four to be sure of Europa League football next year. And we've gone through the nine million mark now, which is good. So, one win and two draws. But Arsenal away and Everton away. You can't complain too much about that. Real gutsy stuff. Bruno Perez has had a very good month. He's come to the party. He has, indeed. Some good dribbles from him. Tyvee's ball retention, still only 53. Torore's had a decent month, he's in there as well. Not much aerial battles, but we're in a good position. Bruno Perez makes team of the month. Southampton at Spartan Park next. You have to wait for episode 52 for that. But we are getting near the end of season two now. And it's been a very, very good season in the Premier League. Let's just leave you looking at this situation. Our goal scoring charts. 21 now for Tyvee. 15 for Abu Bakr. They've had, both had fantastic seasons. A couple goals already for Bruno Perez, as you can see. Asamoah, seven assists. Seven assists for Abu Bakr as well. Torore now bag nine, a lot off the bench. Very delighted with what we've done there this season in season one. We've done very well indeed. I don't think anybody can really complain with the way we've performed. Certainly been fantastic since we've gone up to Superstar. Three games left. We'll probably make it a two and a one. And the last game will have all the wrap-up stuff. Thanks for joining me as always. Spot. Yeah.